Hi, I'm Sandy Alnock, Prima Ribbonista for May Arts, and today I want to show you a couple ways to use some shaped heart ribbon. So I've started with some score tape. It's this eighth inch score tape, and I've put it on the back of these pre-cut pieces of the heart ribbon. It's satin cutouts, very, very cute. They come in different shapes. There's stars and all different kinds of ones. And I'm just going to attach it to a three by three square of red cardstock. It's gonna go on a square card that's gonna be four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And it fits five rows of these hearts. And I'm just gonna alternate them, uh, row of four and row of five, and align the points with the side of the cardstock so I get everything nice and even and straight. And here goes the last one in the middle. And all we have to do is fold the edges around since they have score tape on the back of those, the edges of those hearts. Got a nice panel. I'm gonna add some twisted rope. And this stuff is really nice. Um, if you like Baker's Twine, you're really gonna love this stuff. It's much thicker and it's much smoother. It just feels nicer in your hands. So I wrapped it around a couple times. Gonna trim off some edges because I'm gonna make tassels out of these. Um, this stuff splits really nicely to make beautiful tassels and I'm gonna attach it with some dimensional adhesive on the top and bottom on the front of my card. And now all I have to do is adjust those as I want them. I want one straight across the middle and the other two kind of at angles. So it makes a little fan of the twisted rope. And next, all I had to do was add a tag to it with my sentiment and um, put a hole through it and thread that tassel through. And it just makes a really sweet little Valentine. Signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. My second card has um, a little bit more ribbon on it. Yay, more ribbon! I have a three inch by four inch panel of paper and I'm wrapping some strips of wider, this is I think half inch, uh, score tape around it. I'm gonna peel off two of them and then add a piece of this embroidered ribbon. This is inch and a half embroidered ribbon. It is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, really beautiful. Um, gonna attach that to the card and I'm gonna peel off the last one and put the other piece on and as soon as I do and I get that trimmed off I'm gonna be able to just fold it around the back because um, there's a little bit of the score tape on the back as well the card front is a normal a2 size four and a quarter by five and a half inch um, card front so I'm just taping it on or double sticking it on there with some dimensional adhesive and now I wanna put my hearts on there. So before I attach it to the card, I'm taking my piece of twisted rope, I'm gonna put it on the back so I get it in the center where I want it and attach it across the seam where those two ribbons joined. And uh, then all that's left is tying my little knot in this and I'm gonna add a tag to that and uh, finish off my tassel the way I want. I love the way the ends split on this this braided uh, braided string, braided rope, braided, yes, <laughs> braided rope um, to make a really cute little valentine. And here's a close-up of that yummy, yummy ribbon. Thank you so much for taking a moment to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button down below. You can hit subscribe as well to get lots more great ideas from May Arts. And your comment question for today, I would love to know when you make a card for Valentine's Day for your husband, do you get all fancy and do what you like to do? Or do you make a really simple kind of masculine card for him for Valentine's Day? Would love to know whether you focus on what you like or focus on what he likes. Thanks so much and have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time.